Hi, everybody. My name is Joshua. Hi. My name is Eric. And we're going to show you how to make a zine today. So a zine is like a little book or a magazine that you make all by yourself. And they're special because you can say whatever you want to say in them. You can make whatever story you want to make. Um, People who have had like special experiences, um, special memories, they might want to make a zine to be able to tell their own story their own way. Um, yeah, when you're making a zine, it's all in your control, and that's what makes it really cool and really fun. And anybody can do it, and it's really easy, and you don't have to have any special equipment. All you really need for the kind of zine that we're going to show you how to make it's is just a, a blank piece of paper. That's all you need. See, we have one. And then maybe here. a writing utensil. That's probably important too. We have a zine I'm making right here, and no, you did not see anything on this page. Okay, we're going to talk about how to make a zine like this. Um, so the first thing that you need it's is a blank sheet. just a blank sheet of paper. Yeah, we've already said that. So. And the, step one already said. The first thing that you do is what? You're going to fold it in yeah, half yeah, yeah. this way. So I'll bring this down like this so you can see. Maybe a little bit farther. Yeah. And go, so we've got it folded in half yes. the short way. Mm -hmm. and, now and now we're going to open it back up. And then we're going to fold it this way, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. i got to do this because I haven't done it before. Now we've got it folded in half the long way too. So we've already got a fold the short way, and now we've got a fold the long way. Now we're going to do two more folds, okay? So you've got a crease in the middle in both directions. And going the long way, you want to bring one edge over and into the center like this. Mm-hmm. And then fold that. Yep. All right, and now I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take the edge into the middle. And fold it. i got to always do this because you don't want it folding, folding back over. I'm get your folds nice and crisp. Nothing crispy like crispy pizza. And then if we flatten it back out again, you'll see that we have... One, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, 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 eight rectangles. And these are going to be our pages. Yep. They're pages, not rectangles. So now is the next part. So we've got all the folds in our uh, paper. We're going to fold it in half the short way again. And you see this line right here in the middle? Scissor. We're going to use scissors to cut, but only down to here. So we're cutting on the folded edge, not on the open edge. That's not what you want to do. You want to no, cut no. on the folded edge. Last time I made a zine, didn't I accidentally do that? I feel I don't like remember. I, I was at this like art camp and I did that and my zine looked like, like inside out. Yeah, so we're gonna avoid that. So we're gonna take the scissors and very carefully, like watching where the line is. It's a little hard to see in this light. Make a cut right along that edge all the way up to the fold that's in the middle yeah. right there. Also, if you're doing it just like how my dad did it, don't like accidentally go like, ooh, and then like when you're doing Yeah, we want to like, stop at go this line. here and then stop. Don't go like fully in because mm -hmm. it'll just cut all the way up. Now if we unfold it, you see we've got like a little mouth. Oh, I... And I I'm about to be a zine. Okay. There's a hand coming out of my mouth. So, next step. This is going to wrap up our making of the, the book itself. Fold it in half the long way, and we're going to push it together like this, pushing the two sides together until we get to the middle, where it looks kind of like we have a little star. Uh, more like a, it's, it's a little, we'll say it's a little plus. Yeah, like a plus sign. Yeah. And then we're going to take all the pages together like this and fold them into a book shape. And 
um, flatten them out real nice. They might be a little irregular, like your folds probably won't be perfect I since you've it. done this by yeah. hand. I can do this easily because I can do it many times. the camera. Oh yeah, I forgot the camera was down here. Alright. I am bent a little. And now, you see we have a booklet. A little book. Also, do not write in these little slots in the middle. Here. See those? See those tiny little slots in the middle? Those are not part of the pages. Do not write or draw in these. Okay. So this is um, what you'll end up with. And now the next step is to start writing in your zine. Um, so Abe and I have made a zine about... Conservation! It's a part in my home school! And um, this is what we've got so far. It says, Zine of Conservation by Abraham and Joshua. And we've got a few illustrations, but the first thing that I want to say before we start going through it is that um, you're, you probably want to start planning what you're going to write in your zine before you start writing in it. So we made some notes. We made some notes about what we want the zine to be called, um, what we want to talk about on each of the pages. So we knew we wanted to call it um, Conservation Zine or Zine of Conservation. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, we wanted Chapter 1 to explain what conservation is and why it's important. So we did that, and it made some nice illustrations. And then we went on to offer some suggestions and tips. So chapter two starts with those suggestions and tips. So one of the things you can do to conserve is um, not use so much toilet paper when you wipe your butt. So um, so there's so there's an illustration to show that. And then another is like that it. you can uh, keep the oven door closed when it's running. Um, so there's you know we've got like a fire has broken out because someone left the oven door open. That's no good. As if that'll ever happen, though. Well, you, you never know. you, yeah, you got to yeah, be careful. If, if you be... And then turn off the water when you're brushing your teeth to conserve the water. I um, haven't finished that page yet. I'm not Yeah, done. and so we have a few more pages to fill in the suggestions, but we had a plan. Is That's the point. Um, we made a plan of what we wanted to put in the pages before we started illustrating it. And then when you're done... Um, you've got your very own book that you've made. And the cool thing about this model for making a zine is that once you're done, you can unfold the whole thing into one sheet of paper. And then you can take this sheet of paper and use a photocopier to make copies of it. And then you can fold and cut those copies the same way that you folded and cut the original. And then you can have as many copies of your zine as you want to hand out to your friends to your enemies, to whoever you want. And that's how you make a zine. Any parting thoughts? The only thing you can't do with your zine is if you're trying to give it to to your your friends or family, like don't like make anything that that would like criticize them that they would yeah, So you know, think carefully about what you put in your zine. Especially if it's about something like really inappropriate that you don't want to do. Yeah, think about that too. Okay, that's it for us. Bye. Have fun.